Hello there, my name is Charles Ingalls. My family is in the middle of our journey from Burr Oak, Iowa back to Walnut Grove, Minnesota. The year is 1877 and there are many wagons out on the trails and crossing the prairies filled with people that are looking for good farmland. Some are in search of work to support their family and some are even on the hunt for gold. The railroad has opened up a whole new space out west. Many are rushing to claim land and to start up businesses hoping to find success. My family is heading back to Walnut Grove hoping to find work. We're setting up camp for the night. We've traveled nearly 12 miles today and the horses are in need of a rest. This is our covered wagon. Everything is packed inside this wagon that measures four feet wide and 11 feet long. You can measure that out at home to see how much space we have to fit everything we own including my new family of six. Baby Grace was born just a week before we left Burr Oak. We strap as much as we can onto the sides of the wagon and even underneath. There are lots of tools that I may need along the way to fix things like wheels or horse harnesses. We also carry the food we will need for the long journey. We have wooden barrels of beans and tins and crocks filled with flour, cornmeal, and coffee. I hunt for fresh meat along the way, but we also have salted meat like bacon along with us. Traveling in the wagon is bumpy and very cramped. Laura and Mary walk much of the time that we travel. There is only room for our supplies for survival and things we will need once we get to our destination. Very few personal possessions are packed. We have a few books, a couple of photographs, and the girls have paper dolls and rag dolls. Caroline has a very special China Shepherdess that has been making its way with us. Right now, my wife, Caroline, and our daughter Carrie are picking some wild onions we found growing. That will make for a delicious addition to some stew she has cooking. Laura is filling water buckets for the horses, and Mary is watching baby Grace. We all must work together to make the long journey bearable. Tomorrow morning, we'll fry a couple eggs from the chickens we have along with us, uh, and we'll be back on the trail. Now, I better get back to repairing this wagon tongue. So, thanks for stopping in for a visit. Safe travels. <laughs>